My name is Michael Loya, CEO of American Hearts Radio Entertainment Network. I'm here with my partner, Pete DiLorenzo from New Jersey. It's Easter Sunday, and you are tuned in to Direction of the Heart. We have our guest from Brazil, Mr. Ricardo de Alameda Figurazio. I hope I said that right. I'm trying to add a little twang to it. Welcome, Ricardo. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Brazil. I want to thank you, your attention for me, and I, w I will be happy to be interviewed for you. It's a great pleasure to be interviewed by you three. And this is, will help me out with my work I'm doing here in Brazil, in my university at Anhanguera. I am studying second grade of journalism here in Sao Paulo, and I will, it will help me with my work with the teacher Juliana Pierce Ferry, Ferry and Fabrizio Braza Buja. And I have been uh, making another project too. Well, Ricardo, you. um, you're in, you're, you're in college, correct? Thank you. Okay, you, uh, what, what, you used to, uh, deal with journalism? Yes. Okay. Second grade, second grade. Okay, and you, you are a writer as well? Yes, I'm yes. writing. Tomorrow uh, what, I will make what, what a, a, a test. What are your topics uh, mainly that you like to write on? Yes, I like. I love too much to write. What What I are the I, topics of your writings? What, what 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 types of things do you write about? What inspires you? Yeah. What What do you like to talk about? In other words, when you're broadcasting, when you're writing, what What topics? What subjects? Everything. Everything. <laughs> I like to talk about everything, politics, politics uh, principally theater. I'm an actor, and I make a movie now from uh, Flavio Guedes, but we don't have the number yet. Okay, so but you it, write screenplays and scripts? Yes. Yes, and, and you have a new play that is that you're doing now that's going live? Uh, Flavio Guedes is doing now the script, all the projects he's giving, he's doing. And I'm working with another producer, two produ three producers, oh. Julian Calvo Vieira, Joe Rabo, and uh, Gonzalo Alvarez. He's making the movie with me, these three guys. What is what is the uh, play about? What is what, what's the whole concept of your the play that you're doing now? My play is about uh, the Mexicans, the Mexican stackers uh, from the Sun Amers, but uh, he is the play is from him. I have to I'm helping him to to make the the film about what is the, the Aztecans. What is the basic story? What is the, the, your basic animals. story? Animal protection. Animal protection. An animal? What What did he say, Pete? Okay. In other words, what is what is the story about? Right. The story about the uh, prote protection, animal protections, and the Aztecas. Uh, uh, the, the movie will be about the Aztecas. I start about the Aztecas. Okay. And the, the okay. film of... Uh, 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 Julia Cabo Vieira is about the solar storm, the, the, the apocalypse, the end of the world. The movie from Julia Cabo Vieira is about the, the end of the world, the apocalypse, hope for life. So and Joe Rabo is the, the solar world. storm. About the end of the world. Yeah, like in a power you're saying is about the end of the world. Okay, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, you know, Rick, Ricky has got many talents. He he wants to be an actor. Uh, he's he's doing broadcasting and journalism. He's studying in college, and he interviewed me about a little a week ago or so uh, as a college project, which is a wonderful thing. And he wants to try his hand at a little comedy. But this is wonderful what you're doing. Very good. Yeah. Now, is there how 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 do you depict? The end of the world occurring in your play. 
Yes. What brings they're moving, what they're moving from the end of the world? Yeah, they're moving from Joe Rabbles and uh, Julia Cavalier is about the apocalypse, the end of the world. How does Julia it happen? <clears throat> right, the apocalypse. And when you say the end of the world as we know it, because Jesus said, I am with you even till the end of the age, as we yeah. know it now. We know Jesus is coming back, so the apocalypse yes. that we're facing is, is already around us, you know, the signs of the times, the things that Jesus spoke of that would come to pass before his return. And, and uh, again, we know not when it will be, exact day or time, but it's close. So, you know, a lot of films being made like this, but a lot of times they fantasize and fiction and bang, bang, shoot them up. And, and one thing that's good to emphasize is that Jesus said he would never destroy the earth by fire or flood ever again. Sodom and Gomorrah, the flood, the great flood. So it's the earth that will be replenished and God's kingdom established here on the earth. But it's the system and order of things and the governments that are corrupted. Everything that's in the world and the sin, all of that's going to be gone. So we're, we're, we're living the apocalypse in a way, you know. Yes, do you, do you believe we are living in those revelation times, the times of the apocalypse now? Last days, yeah. Do you believe this? Yes, I believe too much in this. And uh, the, uh, Jesus Christ will be come back to judge the evil and the good ones. Mm -hmm. Amen. He will save the world and uh, fight against the devil and separate the good from the evils and uh, uh, leave us from the paradise and we will live it together for the eternal life forever. Yes. Everlasting life. That's yeah. what Easter is all about. God has risen and shown us that we will have everlasting life. Now, yeah. the apocalypse in your in your play depicts the end of the world. In is does it does it also depict the uh, rise and and coming of Jesus Christ? Yes, that's, that's right. Cool. Wonderful. That's right. Wonderful. As it says in scriptures, that Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, and that God's glory shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. So this is what is coming to pass. It, it soon will happen. And we may be very fortunate, like I said many times, Mike, to, to see this happen in our lifetime. Because the things that are happening, and Mike, each week what we cover on the show, and Ricky, we're honored to have you, is that, you know, uh, the evil, the corruption, the, the lack of mankind's concern about fellow man and people that are in need, and and this is what we are reaching out to people on this show, and we're honored to have you. And this is a wonderful thing you're doing with that play, because that is another way to touch people's minds and hearts about God's glory and what is to come on this earth. You believe that when this revelation happens, and at the end of the apocalypse, that there will be world peace? Yes, I believe. In the world, uh, we will have peace. We will have peace. Uh, and we will live together without uh, wars, without fighting uh, men against men, woman against woman, without violence. We will live in totally peace, right. without war, without guns, without bombs, without Al-Qaeda, uh, without uh, the terrorism, without the IS. What a, what a beautiful thought, Ricardo. Yeah. What a yeah. beautiful thought. That Absolutely. touches my heart. That should be the direction of the heart of every human being living on this planet. That's it. Thank That's you. I, I, yeah. Cheers to you, Mr. Ricardo in Brazil. Thank I you. love you, brother. See, that's what it's all about, is that each week, uh, and, and week to week, day by day, we strive, and we know we can see it come to pass, and we will see it come to pass with the return of our Lord. But in the meantime, Oi. people like you, Ricardo, and oh, Mike. Father, it's my dad. It's my dad. People like you, Ricardo. And God Mike, bless your daddy. You know, we all collectively try to put that peace on this earth to the best we can, even now, until our Lord returns. Because when he comes back, it will be final. That's when we That's will right. totally see true peace. Oh, gente. <laughs> Tell sorry, them that sorry, we said sorry, hello. My, my parents. Tell, tell them that we said hey from Florida, hello from New Jersey. Yeah, we, tell, we say hello. My to parents you. calling me, but we can't go on. I want to say I will make a movie. I I can 
uh, say to I have uh, another move to make from Flavio Gets called the uh, second great second ground. It's about uh, the crime, crime like CSI, like uh, Harry Potter, like uh, supernatural. The plot is about the 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 child who is the descent from Jesus Christ have a, a, a ring a ring to protect and the the devil comes to earth and kills the child the another to from the the orphanage to look for the kid who is the son for the Jesus Christ and David family. It is the plot of second ground from Flavio Gates and Jack Lagoa. I will be on this movie too beside of the movie of Gonzalo Alvaro, Julia Calvo Vieira and Joe Rabo. I will be on the Flavio Game and Flavio Gates movie too. Soon, very soon. Right. Well, that's wonderful. Ricky, I'm sure Mike and I would like to know, <clears throat> pardon me, in your country, in Brazil, beautiful country. Uh, Thank you. Uh, you know, I, I remember when you interviewed me, um, and you, you brought up about like 9-11 when it happened, things like that, and you talked about that, you know, the crime, corruption. How, how is it in your country? I mean, and how does like the Al-Qaeda and the Taliban and ISIS and all of that, how are the people reacting to, you know, uh, things like that in the world? And how does it affect your country? Yeah, thank you. My country is very wonderful, but the only problem we have here is the corruption. Yeah. Corruption only. Corruption is everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. everywhere. Every face of this planet is corruption. And that is what needs to be eradicated and eliminated. Right. And the only way that we can do this, I believe, is by coming together with a voice of humanity. Humanity yeah. has no voice. Yeah, I agree with you, lawyer, Mike Lawyer, I agree with you. You're a great guy. Thank you, Ricardo. I, I would like to share something with both of you guys. Sure. Uh, and we had talked about this, Pete. I just wrote a column this morning, and before me and you had spoke earlier today, and uh, it's called Everlasting Life. I just sent it in to my editor. It should be published tomorrow. So I'm going to read to you the unedited version of Walk the Turtle, okay. Everlasting Life on Easter Day, 2015. Okay. Great. Here we go. Okay. A, new, a new day brings upon the wind. The seeds of life gently swirl in the air, blowing upon our Mother Earth. They lay upon the soil and eventually wither underground. Emergence of new life begins again. To see beyond our perpetual vision of what surrounds our being, we only see moments of now. Underneath the veil of sky lies the tapestry of everlasting life. Yeah. Grace to our creator is placed deep within our soul. Amen. Common elements of our self resonates beyond the understanding. To feel the frequencies and receive the visions of being in tune opens the mind and spirit as we lift onto a higher purpose. Truth of commitment and trust by your eternal love cannot betray the pure love of Christ. We can read the signs and hear the voices of guidance. Intuitive this may be of what your spirit knows to be truth. Wisdom as well as a shield become the growth of our heart. Direction of our journey has taken us down and around many turns. We are light, body, and mind. Transmit the energy of what we call love. Passions to live and to feel are what breathes life everlasting. A resurrection of spirit is eminent to the pain felt by the deception of what will always be. Walk the turtle and hold your faith. There you go. Yeah, that, that, is, very, that is very profound and beautifully written. May I say? Yeah. Um, and and, and you, you said it all in that piece. Uh, you know, the light that we are or that we share and shed, it comes from God. And He said, "Don't put that light in, under a bushel, but share it with the whole house." And, and and in a piece like that, and with the point of what we're doing with this show week after week, 
is to reach the masses with messages that, you know, uh, it doesn't have to be the way it is. And it's not that complex. It's not that complex. People make it complex. It is simple that if we look to God and put our faith in Him, Jesus said, then all of the things shall be added unto you. Think ye first on the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. What you shall eat, what you shall wear, the bills, this, that, like we worry about so many things. It's part of life. We have to work, we have to pay the bills, we have to put a roof over our head, uh, you know, put food on the table. But when people get so overcome with the stress and the worries, and we're all guilty of it, we're fine. All right? That we, we put our faith in God, and He, He's there, and He instills that peace and that comfort uh, communicating with each other uh, in, in, in people's lives, in their marriages, in their relationships, in their work rapport, in, with their families, all of these things. And you see families falling apart at the seams. And Jesus spoke of that. He said, you just see mother against uh, daughter and <coughs> son and, and, and all falling apart like a bad suit at the seams. And it doesn't have to be that way if we put our faith and trust in God. He guides us. And he know he shows us the way to make it work. Because left on our own, none of us, none of us can can make it work. Because we see things through our own eyes, not through God's eyes. You know, and, and we have to see it. You know, God says, "Our my ways are not your ways, and your ways are not my ways." But our ways should be His way. And he teaches yeah. us. That. You know, I, I would like to ask Ricardo what your vision is and what your purpose you feel to write these plays to write these scripts to, to produce these shows what is driving you to do this and what is your message that you want to bring to humanity uh, to respect the nature to to not pollute the, the rivers the 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 forest, don't, uh, don't burn the forest, don't kill animals, don't kill animals, the Asians, institutions, don't hurt animals, don't hurt anything, plant a tree, not cut the tree, don't destroy the tree, let's, let's do it together for a uh, living earth in the future without the trees. We will die without the rivers, the water. We will die by thirsty, without food. We will die by hunger. So let's do save the planet right now before it's too late to do. Thank you. Very you know, you, he, he hit on a real uh, sensitive topic, and that's our water supply. Yep. There's yeah. only so much water, man, and, you know, that is that is so, you know, water is like gold. If not, you know, without the water, Sustain. we will die. Sustain. Yeah. Here, Sao Paulo, we oh. have probably water yet. The Cantarera, you see the Cantarera uh, dam is too dry, like a desert. Cantarera, which uh, supply us here, Sao Paulo. Where I live is supplied by Cantarera. The Cantarera is more grave than here in Sao Paulo. It's lack of water. Uh, it arrives at 5% of water in Cantarera. Now it's around 15. It increases because it's ready to much here in Sao Paulo. And the, the water supply in Cantarera increases. Now it's 50 percent, but the Catarina is the most wonderful here in Sao Paulo. So, people, save the water. Don't prejudice the water. Don't waste your water. That's so right. you have to go to the bathroom. Take only five minutes in bath. Don't waste your water. We are Well, you so, know, people here in America, most people, they take water for granted. A lot let, the, let the sink run. You know, there's also people in other countries that have contaminated water. They don't have good, clean drinking water. People yeah. are bathing in sewage. You know, it's, it's, 
that should not even be happening in, in, in this day and age. Right. There, right. Nobody should should be, and I don't know, the, I don't have the answers. I don't have the solutions. All I know is there needs to be a voice for humanity. Something and somebody needs to come together with all these trillions of dollars that are, that are out sure. there and start giving people clean water, start making sure people have food, start bringing some peace and hope and love through the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, it's sure, already, sure. Like, like Ricky just this said. This movie called Solo's Movie, 50 Sun, is about this. is to bring the people together with the natural, make peace with the nature, to Where save all the animals. Churches? Where are all these rich churches? that have all these trillions and trillions of dollars and billions of dollars. And Mr. Joe Olstein up there having millions of dollars in his mansion. Why don't these churches come together and put their money together and give everybody clean water, feed the world, and start eradicating the corruption and people like ISIS? Well, Fight back. You know why? You know why? That's right. You know the answer to that. And Ricky just brought out, don't waste it. It's a commodity that you know, many countries uh, don't have. And, and uh, just recently, uh, a post on my wall from uh, a friend who is in Africa and through Global with so many people. And they, here was this village of people, and it really got me emotionally, holding up a sign, Hello, Pete DiLorenzo, pray for us. And they're dying of AIDS. They, they have no water. They have no food. So in this country, yes, a lot of people take it for granted and, and, and a waste. Food, water, and, and you, like you said, where are the churches? Where are the communities? Where are the... The government, even they don't care because it's about greed. It's about greed, money, power, and greed to help people. I mean, yeah, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there, but everybody's separate. There are some that do come together. You know, there are some that do. There are other organizations, and and what global cooperation is doing as well as reaching out and you know collectively uh, and, and together and stronger in numbers. Yes, we can help. To, to a certain degree, you know, we can't cure the whole world, but, and this is what I told those people, you know, I've never met them, and yet they're greeting me, holding up a sign from Africa, and, and asking for prayers, and I said, as I am in renegotiations with the gentleman from the UN, I says, I will address this, I will address it, as I have been all along, these people need help, man, and, and, and if you don't care, you know, uh, or, or people don't care, they're dying like flies, have you no regard for human life? Here, abroad, wherever, in Ricky's country, Brazil, in Africa, all of these nations that we're dealing with. And, and again, it starts at home. And I mean, you know, this was brought out in past shows to discuss where, I mean, the amount of food that's put to the curb, uh, shopping, uh, you know, uh, supermarkets, and even in New York City, you see a lot of the stands and they just throw it away instead of giving it to the homeless. And, and they would actually get fined. They would get fined for doing that. They're not allowed yeah, to. Yeah. That's crazy. That's Was crazy. Was it better to turn the garbage than to be able to give it to someone that's less fortunate? Why would they find them? So you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It don't make sense. Uh, I have an idea to save the Katarina Dam. I will with project to plant trees like eucalyptus and another uh, uh, vegetables around the Katarina to bring the water and fill the, the dam back again, because now Katarina is 15% 15, 15 of its capacity. Wow. It's in danger yet, Katarina. Wow. It's in danger yet. Too dry. <coughs> you, uh, you, showed me your, you showed me your shirt, um, the Corinthians. Tell us what that is. Tell us what it means to you, Corinthians, on your shirt. Show show everybody. Show us your shirt. Sure, sure. Your shirt, Corinthians. Show, show us your shirt. There you go. Okay. Corinthians. Yeah. Corinthians, Corinthians, I love my team. Okay, this is Corinthians, Evictus. Okay. We won everyone here. Okay. We now, won. Tell us what Argentina. Tell us what it stands for, what it means. <laughs> That's awesome, brother. I tell you what, man, I can't believe time has flown by so fast. It always goes too fast. I have enjoyed this session of Direction of the Heart, Mr. Ricardo, my brother Pete. I love you both, man. I wish you great success, Ricardo. I think we'll be doing more things.
God is bringing people together, and I think it's our job to be that voice of humanity, to bring people together around the world, raise some eyebrows, and say, come on, man, what's going on? Let's rock and roll. Let's help these people. Let's rock and roll. And let's, let's have some global peace, man. Let's, let's rock the crap. Get out the wall, Kameen. Get out the wall, Kameen. I have a message to you. Stop negligencing me. Stop negligencing the São Paulo people. Help us to save the Catarina Dam, Geraldo Alckmin, and our governor. And each week, Pete, that's exactly Pete. what we're doing, Mike. Is Hold on, I want you to do your Rocky impression of what you told me earlier. Do it. Tell, tell the world from Rocky. Wait, which tell, one? The scene you. from Rocky Balboa. Rocky Geraldo. Geraldo Alckmin. <laughs> Stop it, Nicholas, in EV, us, so far, the people. We help you to save the Catarera. We have to save the Catarera. Without the water, we will die. We will die well, without well, you know, the water. That's what we are doing, is helping each other and nations all over. We all have to collectively collaborate too. make sure. And Jesus said, I am the water. I am the water. If you thirst, I am the water. If you hunger, I am the bread. So if we have God, he will see. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we have to strive to help each other. And uh, that, that that is foremost. And that's what we're doing week to week. And, and we appreciate you being on the show, too. Uh, Mike, you were talking about what? The Rocky Balboa. That was Rocky Six. Yeah, it was a very... You know, there's so many great movies where you could see mentorship. And where you can see... Maybe a scene where there's a, a powerful message, and that's what I'm doing with my film. I believe a, me, a film afterwards, when everybody files out of that theater, like after a good meal, like after hearing a great song, you want more. And, uh, and that was one particular scene, yet I was talking with you earlier on the phone about uh, where he was talking to his son in the movie. And, and he said that when yeah. you go out there, oh, so, when you go out there, nobody, nobody can hear as long as you can hit. And when you get hit, you don't feel sorry to yourself. You bounce right back in. You fight. And then you don't go blaming it on this one or that one or this one. Yo, you got to step up and you fight. You fight with everything you've got. Yo. And that's, yeah. how you, that's how you win. Otherwise, you're just a loser. And you ain't going to win. And I love you. I love you. I held you right here when you were. Yo, Adrian! Yo, Adrian! <laughs> it was a yeah! very profound scene because his message was life will throw its curveballs at us. Life Absolutely. will hit us so hard, and if you're just going to sit back and feel sorry for yourself, or if we're going to project it and blame, oh, you know, my boss, my, my, my job, my neighbor, my co worker, my husband, my wife. But no, we, we all have to fight whatever is inside us that we're wrestling with, and give it to God and fight, because life is not fair. Nobody ever said it was going to be. Life is not easy. Nobody ever said it was going to be. And that's how we fight it, with that's God. Leave it on that it's note, Pete. Away. Leave it on that note. Direction of the heart. Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you, Welcome. my brother Pete. Happy Easter, man, and God bless. Happy Resurrection Day. God bless you all. Rock and roll. Ricky, thank you. God bless. <laughs>